The steam engine helped build Australia, connecting communities, transferring passengers and carrying freight across the country. When this era came to an end, a new generation was born and steam was relegated to the realms of history. Now, giants of the era are being brought back to life. Giants like 6029. Well, really, the attraction to it for me personally was that just the sheer size and bulk of it. It was just amazing to have something this big. Well, that's why, I, when I first saw it, that's what attracted me to it. Well, it was acquired by the uh, Whitlam government in the um, early 1970s as part of the uh, then to be Australian uh, National Museum. Uh, it uh, came here because uh, the museum wasn't built, so uh, they asked us to look after it. We did. Uh, eventually their focus changed and so uh, we eventually took over control of the locomotive. It's important to have a team on a project like this because uh, one individual just can't do it. It'll go a couple of hours. Well, I'll cut it out later. Uh, the way you look at any project like this is to break it up into many small elements and if you break it down in that logical order, something that is quite significant actually is just a succession of a whole lot of small things and then you just get the job done. Personally, uh, it's something that uh, when I've set myself a goal to, to get in and do it, uh, we were told uh, we couldn't do it and if you tell me you can't do it, well that's... That just doesn't cut the mustard. So it's meant a lot to me. It's it's meant a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, literally. Uh, but to, just to see the thing finished and and, the, and when we found it, or when we came, and the, initially in the state it was in, it was in a very parlous state, and we were able to to be able to turn something like that that everybody said you couldn't do it to actually now having it on, operating out there on the metals is just wonderful. Uh, the future plans for 6029 is to uh, have initial um, runs here on the Canberra branch and uh, honouring our requirements to our sponsors and supporters. And of course now the ACT government's come on uh, to help us as well. So uh, we will do all those runs uh, initially uh, in Canberra over a weekend. We then tend to take it up to Goulburn, uh, do some short runs on the, uh, on the main south out of Goulburn uh, and hopefully to link in some of the Sydney traffic. Uh, and then we're looking at uh, planning for tours in 2015.
esteem for future generations. I guess uh, the point is, is as, as uh, when steam was uh, part of the um, national uh, rail network, everybody knew about it. And as we go forward, um, young kids and that don't really know what it's all about. And to me, the uh, importance of steam and the era of steam is something that needs to be told. And uh, it's certainly a significant part of building Australia and opening up the greater part of Australia. And they're able to do that with the uh, with steam trains. I'm Alan Gardner, I'm the project manager of uh, Team 6029 and I've also had the honour of being the first driver to drive 6029 out of camp. Never step on the cracks Never go where you know you can't get back Never stray from the path that you laid And it's under your feet Like a plan you are waiting to complete